focus on me Hey guys, it's C. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So today we are back in the kitchen with another recipe. Um, this night, it was a Tuesday and so I decided to make some tacos and, you know, Taco Tuesday. And so I just wanted to show you all um, how I make my tacos, but I also wanted to show you all um, this slaw recipe. Um, I got a HelloFresh meal probably a few months back and it had this slaw in there the recipe was for some sliders but it had slaw in it and i'm not a slaw person like i don't like slaw i don't like uncooked cabbage like i just don't but when i made the hello fresh meal i was like well let me go ahead and try it and i actually liked it so i recreated it um for these tacos and so basically all you need is some um purple cabbage and uh, or red cabbage whatever you decide to call it but um you just cut it up um, really thin, thank, thank cool. shout out to Bay um, for cutting. Y'all know Bay cuts the cabbage in our house. And so all you need is the cabbage, so he went ahead and cut that up. And then you need a lime, um, you use half of it now, half of it later. And then you just add in the lime into the cabbage. And then you just add in some cilantro, mayonnaise, sugar, and onions. And that's pretty much it on the slaw. And then I just uh, made some shrimp tacos as well as the barbecue chicken tacos. Um, but I'll just let y'all watch to see how I made everything and I'll jump back in if necessary. And depending on how many people you are preparing your meal for, that would depend on the measurements. Of course, y'all know I barely measure anything. But um, this slaw recipe, like I said, um, is very easy to make. Um, I should have used less cabbage because, of course, it was just me and Bay eating these. And we ate tacos that night and um, the next day. And we still had a bunch of slaw that end up going to waste. So you can probably use maybe one third of a cabbage um, because it goes a long way. And the Hello Fresh meal that I made, um, they had a uh, red onion in there, um, and I actually forgot about the onion when I went to the store to get the recipe, um, the ingredients for the recipe. And so I just had this regular onion in the fridge, and so I just decided to use that. And um, as you can see, it was a half of an onion, and I um, cut that up put half in with the peppers that I cut up that's gonna go with the chicken later and then the rest of the onion I put it in the slaw and once you mix all that in like like I said it was just the cabbage the onion the cilantro the lime juice um, of half a lime um, some sugar and some mayo and that's pretty much the slaw recipe, guys. And when I tell you it's really, really good, like, it's good. And like I said, I do not eat slaw, but this was good. Like, I've already made this, like, three times. So let me know in the, comment, in the comments if you like slaw. And if you don't like slaw, please give this one a try. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so once I made the slaw, I put it in the fridge and then um, I went ahead and made um, the chicken. So I go ahead and start with the peppers and the onions, go ahead and put them in and get them started in the pan. And then that is how the chicken looks when it comes out of the pack. This chicken is already fully cooked, um, but I like to heat it up and add more barbecue sauce to it. And like I said, depending on how many people you're feeding, it would depend on um, how much of this you need. I think it's a little bit in the pack, so I always get two so that we can eat some that night and then also have some for leftovers. Um, so if you want to have leftovers, I would suggest getting two packs. And so, like I said, this is just already cooked, so you're just really heating it up. And I always add extra barbecue sauce because I like mine really saucy. I used this chicken before in another one of my videos during, I think it was Vlogtober. Um, I used that same chicken and I made um, some sliders uh, with it. But it's very, it's very easy to use. Um, it's very good. You can, like I said, I, you can make it with whatever. Like I did tacos this night. I made it before with sliders. I think it would go good in like um, any type of pool chicken recipe, whatever you want to use it for, like whatever you eat um, your pool chicken with, you can use this because it's, it's a much quicker option and it's really, really good. And then that other um, half of the lime, you can just use that and um, squeeze the juice into the chicken. When they did that in Hello Fresh meal, I had never thought of doing that before, but it really gave it a good flavor. Um, I don't know why I cut that lime like that, but hey, that's neither here nor there. It, it worked, but but yeah, so you just add in that and then mix it up, let it heat up, and that's pretty much it um, on making the chicken. And that's how it's looking once it's done and heated up. And now I'm going ahead and making the make. I'm going to go ahead and make the shrimp. Um, I just seasoned it with my regular seasons, as y'all saw in the beginning, and I just put it in the um, pan and just cooked it. And then I set that to the side as well. That's the finished product of the shrimp. And this cheese dip right here is really, really good. If you're looking for some queso at home, like if you go to the Mexican restaurant and they give you the white queso. If you're looking for something that's really, really close to that flavor, try this. I got it from Walmart. All you do is scoop it out, put it in the bowl, and you can heat it up in the microwave. That's how quick it is. Like, it takes maybe 30 seconds, if that. But this is really, really good. I found that at Walmart, and I've been hooked ever since. But, yeah, so I'm just using this little bowl. I really want to get me some um, taco uh, stands so that I can make my tacos look cute when I'm uh, making them. But I just put them in this small bowl because this bowl holds two and I'm able to sit them up so you can kind of see. And then I just added the slaw to them guys. And then um, that was pretty much it. I put it on a plate with some chips and that cheese dip. And that was it. This was a really simple, really quick, easy weeknight meal. Like I said, you know, at, when you get home from work, something real quick to make. So. Let me know in the comments if you choose to make this and let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.